All right, so we're going to check the homework now for 7.3, section 3. And um, this is where we're working proofs using the eight rules that we learned originally, as well as these five new uh, rules of inference. So I gave you two through five. So number two, we've got not S, therefore not F, then S. Well, looking at this, it may seem a little bit strange, but if we look at the conclusion this time, we see not F and S. And if we think about our rules of replacement, we find that we could use De Morgan's there, and I'm kind of working backwards here on this one, and De Morgan's would give us not F or not S. So it looks like we've already got the not S. If we use addition, we can add in a not F, and that'll get us started here. So on line two, we're going to take that not s and use addition to add a not f. And then in this case, commutativity is useful, not f or not s, from 2 through commutativity. And then, uh, as we saw a moment ago, not f or not s through De Morgan's becomes not f and s. And so that one is solved. Uh, number three, we've got J or K and L, not K, therefore J. And this one is one of those where I think there's a much easier solution than they want you to do. I would just simplify line one, make it J or K, and then J or K, not K, therefore J, through disjunctive syllogism, and you're done. But the book wants you to practice these different rules. So um, how can we do this in that respect? Well, if you look at line 1, J or K and L, it looks like we could use distribution on that line, and that would become J or K and J or L, line 1 through distribution. And then, if we simplify uh, J or K from line 3, and then, if you choose to, you could use commutativity here, K or J. If you didn't, I wouldn't hold that against you. Uh, and then 2 and 4, or 2 and 5, depending upon whether you use the commutativity or not, uh, through a, dis a disjunctive syllogism will give you your answer. So let's just use 5, K or J, not K, therefore J, 2, 5, disjunctive syllogism, and that one's done. Number four, we have uh, not N and T. Number two is T, therefore, not N. Okay. So looking at number four, uh, the first line, I see not T and N, and that looks like a De Morgan's. So using De Morgan's on not N and T, it becomes not N or not T from 1 through De Morgan's. Now, again, if you want to use commutativity at this point, you can. If you don't, I don't hold it against you. We want to get not N. Well, with the wedge there, we could make this a disjunctive syllogism if we had not, not in. Well, on line two, you've got t, uh, t, so if we use double negation, that would become not, not t, like that. And now four and five would make a disjunctive syllogism. It's not t or not in, it's not, not t, so it has to be not in. Four or five disjunctive syllogism, and number four is proven. And finally, number five, we have H then not A. Um, A therefore not H or not A. 
So now looking at uh, number five, the last line, not H or not A, the conclusion we want to reach, that says to me, again, De Morgan's uh, is going to be our final step. But the question becomes, well, how do we get to that point? Well, not H or not A, if we use De Morgan's on that, it would become not H and A. So basically, we need to get not H and A so that we, on two separate lines so we can perform a conjunction there. We've already got the A on line two, so what we need is the not H. Uh, we could do that from line one through modus tollens if we had a not H, uh, if we had a not not A, rather. So, on line two, we've got A. Line three, let's make that not not A through double negation. And now one and three make that modus tollens. If H, then not A, not not A, therefore not H. One and three modus tollens. Now we can take the not H from line four and the A from line two uh, through conjunction. And now not H and A using De Morgan's would give us not H or not A, and that one is proved. All right, so those are the homework checks for 7.3. Like always, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, contact me, and I'll try to clarify things, uh, any questions that you might have. But other than that, uh, we'll see you next time for 7.4.